And COVID hospitalizations are rising in the Northeast. The World Health Organization calls a new Omicron subvariant the most transmissible to date. It makes up an estimated 70% of new cases in the Northeast region of the United States. ABC News medical contributor and physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Alok Patel, joins me now for more on that. Dr. Patel, what do we know about this new subvariant and why is it so transmissible? Well, Diane, simply put, this new subvariant, at least according to lab studies, has a mutation on its spike protein. I think by now everyone can visualize what coronavirus looks like that gives it the ability to really tightly attach to the cells in our body and the ability to outcompete the other variants. So the WHO is correct in calling this an extremely transmissible variant. We're seeing this rate double, this variant double almost every week. In most of the countries, about 30%, as you mentioned, in the Northeast, 70% in lab studies. Also, this variant is able to evade some of those monoclonal antibodies. So it is definitely surging right now, but it remains to be seen if it's going to actually cause more illness and or more hospitalizations. But obviously, we have our fingers crossed. Now, in March, we're going to enter the fourth year now of this pandemic. Is this just what the future looks like now that new highly transmissible variants are going to emerge from time to time? You know, potentially, and I cannot believe we're entering the fourth year, but as we build up immunity, either from infections, natural immunity, and vaccine-acquired immunity, the variants, the viruses are going to want to change. They're going to want to mutate to try to outcompete that. This is how evolutionary biology works. Now, this is why it's important for people to obviously pay attention to the news and stay on top of their own personal health. But why, Diane, we may continue to see a conversation about these tailored vaccines similar to influenza. Influenza also mutates in every single year, multiple centers across the world look at what influenza strains are floating around and create a tailored vaccine for that. This is this might be what we're going to start seeing happening with coronavirus as well as it continues to say, hey, I need to mutate to stay relevant. So how effective is the vaccine against this new sub variant? Fortunately, it still is effective. Now, XBB is an offshoot of BA2, and I know you know this, but BA2 is an offshoot of Omicron, which is encompassed in this bivalent vaccine. And so XBB does have some coverage. The question remains is how effective is it gonna be? And will it still be effective if XBB continues to mutate past 1.5, which is why we all need to stay, stay vigilant, pay attention. Remember those basic mitigation strategies still work, including testing, masking, staying home if you're sick and getting your shot and staying up to date. All right, good advice, Dr. Patel. Always great to have you, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.